if so be that God will think upon us that we may perish not. Amen. Praise Lord. Uh, verse 7. And they said unto everyone to his fellow, Come and let us cast lots, that we may know for whose cause this evil is come is upon us. So they cast lots, and the lot fell upon Jonah. Praise the Lord, you may be seated. Praise the Lord. Many of us may know knows the, the story of Jonah and how he God had called him to go to Nineveh. And he refused. I don't want to go. I don't want to be involved. I, I, I don't want anything to do with these people. I do not want to go to these people. But the, the voice of the Lord called out to Jonah. Right. But we know the story. Jonah rebelled. And God, and, 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 and God was mad at him. He, he chose to rebel. He chose to go against the voice of God. Yeah. He chose to... Sit, get himself out of the will of God and go his own way. Yeah. He didn't want anything to do with it. He says, I don't want to preach to these people. I don't want to tell these wicked people that they're they're gonna they're gonna die and go to hell. I don't want to tell these people that judgment is about to come upon them. I don't want to have anything to do with these people. I'm gonna do my thing and I'm gonna go the other direction. I'm going to do my own thing because my. I don't even want to deal with it. I don't even want to look at it. My I don't even want to face it because right. that's, I don't even want to know. That's not my thing. I'm, I'm going to do my thing. Wow. I'm going to do my agenda. I'm going to do my my, my life. Wow. I don't want to deal with that. That's not that, that's not a part of my agenda. Wow. How many of us have our agenda? And God is telling us, do this, go here, go there. Wow. And we refuse. Yeah. Wow. And we say, oh, that's not part. I'm not going to do that. I don't feel comfortable. I don't even want to deal with those people. I don't even want to talk to those people. And God is saying, I want you to be what I've called you to be. I want you to go and tell them about me. I want you to, I want you to use you to tell them of my glory. Yeah. Come on. And we refuse. Wow. The on. title of my message. And the Lord gave it to me the other day. Tethered to indifference. Tethered to indifference. Many of you may or may not know what tethered is. Uh, it's something that's tied to something else. It's 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 you're tethered to it. You're tied to it. You're bound to it. Uh, growing up, I don't know if you've been aware of tetherball. Have you, any of y'all heard of yeah. tetherball? Yeah. It's a pole with a string, a wall on the end of it. And the objective is to, to hit the one side and wrap around the pole. Yeah. Whoever is the first one to get their side wrapped wins. Yeah. So your objective is to hit it one way and wrap it around the other. And their objective is to hit it the other way and wrap it all the way around the pole. And whoever wraps it all the way around the pole and the ball touches the pole wins, the, wins that round. Yeah. So we enjoyed that as kids. So that kind of gives you a better understanding of tethered. It's tethered. It's it's bound to it. Right. Um, and when God gave me this this word, He said, you know, "Some of my people they're tethered to indifference." And if you understand indifference, it's I, I don't want any concern. I don't have a concern. I don't have a draw toward anything uh, of, of 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 anyone's life. I I, I want to keep to myself. I don't want to deal with other people's issues. I don't have a concern. Wow. I'm indifferent toward it. I don't. I don't want to have that responsibility of of inviting somebody or touching somebody's Ooh. life or encouraging somebody. Oh I'm just going to stay in my own little bubble, my own life. And there's times when God says, "Talk to those people. Go to those people." And there's times when we don't do it. We we, we shy away from from God using us. And even if God in that moment doesn't tell us individually, go to that person. We know if we feel like, okay, we need to go to that person and tell them about God. We should, we should go. That's right. Amen. We should automatically Amen. go and invite people. Yes, sir. If we feel like, okay, we need to, I need to invite them to church. I need yes. to talk to them. I need to invest into that soul, into that person. Don't don't back down. Don't don't say, oh, I'm, I'm a nobody. I'm a nothing. No I, I'm not being invested. I'm not going forth 
and doing anything for the voice, the, the, the things of God. I'm not wanna, I don't want to be used because I don't feel comfortable. It's not about comfort. It's, it's about God pulling you out of your comfort zone and developing you into what he's called you to do. Yeah. Amen. Yes, amen. Thank you, Lord. Many, many of us probably have been shaped by different lifestyles and different things in, in, in our in our life. Growing up from from you know as a child and growing up with different different uh, philosophies and different ways of life and different culture yes, and different ways of doing things. We have been. I guess in, in, a, in a different way of saying, we've kind of been programmed. We've kind of been conditioned by the, the elements around us. And, and things that have come against us and, and lifestyles and, our, and, and, let's just say it, our past it has shaped us at times. And when we come to God, we shed all that. Right. We don't allow any of that. We're, we're a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. I'm new in God. Amen. I am, I am a new vessel. I am a new vessel yes. for God. Yes. So we can't we can't identify or gravitate to any of those old tendencies no, and say, sir. okay, that's 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 where I'm comfortable because that's what I'm familiar with. That's what I know. That's what I, I don't want to be involved because this is my own little life. This is my bubble. This is my mindset. This is who I am. That's not who you are. That's right. That's right. You're whatever God tells you you are. And if God says you step out, that's who you are. You, you are the vessel that he's wanting to use in your life. You are the man or the woman of God. So step out and be used. Be the person. Be the man of God. Be the one that says, you know what? I may not feel comfortable in my own flesh, but get the flesh out of the way and say, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do what God's calling me to do. This. I'm going to take that leap of faith. If you, we look at all the disciples, if they didn't do and they didn't step out when, when God told them to go and do, could you imagine what, what, would it, what the story would, what, what, what the historical event oh, would come be? On. Come on, everybody. Could you imagine? Mm. And we know, okay, the story could have been different if Jonah would have done differently. Yeah. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be hearing of him being swallowed up by a giant fish. Right. If he would have obeyed the voice of God That's the first right. time. Yes, sir. On. So there's things that we go through and there's things that we face. And we put our own self into those, those predicaments. And we put our own self in those, in those problems of life because God may have said, go do this, and we didn't do it. And we refused. And he's got to put trials. He's got to, he's, he's got to put things on our life to get our attention and say, okay, I need God. Amen. Yes. I, I need to obey the voice of God. I need to go. I need to do. I need to be about my father's business. Yes, amen. And sometimes he's got to do it. Yeah. He's got he's got to put that upon us and say, you know what, I gotta get their attention somehow. They're not listening. No They're not obeying me. They're not doing what it is that I've called them to do in this hour. So I've gotta I've gotta I've gotta do something to get their attention so that they turn to me. Yeah. yeah. That they turn their attention, their eyes, their focus. Upon me and in, in, in him alone. He's got to do that for us. We stand on the sidelines of life sometimes and, and we don't want to do what it is that we want us, when God's called us to do. We, we don't want to be involved. It's as if we become bench warmers or pew warmers or, or, or we just sit on the sidelines and oh, someone else is going to do it. Uh -huh. But you, but you're missing out on your blessing. You're missing out right. on what God can do right. through you and yes, in you and in Come somebody on. else's life. Right. right. Amen. The people that I can reach, it may not. It's not necessarily the people that you can reach. Amen. And God could have, have done a greater impact if you would have done what God called you to do. That's right. Amen. Now He's going to try to use somebody else, and it, it may not be in <laughs> that greater aspect that. He could have done if he would have used you. Yeah. If you would have been available and, and said, God, you know what? I'm going to put my pride, my, my everything on the sidelines, yeah. and I want to be about your business. Amen. 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 Right. We can't sit by and say, you know what? Not me. No, 
not about my, me and my kingdom. Right. It's about him and his kingdom. Amen. Exactly. Amen. Am I indifferent? Am I not concerned about my other fellow brethren? Those that are lost, lost loved ones, those that are in our, our workplace, in our world, are, am, am, am I not concerned enough to, to reach my world, mm. to reach the people around me? Right. Are, are we in this, this mindset of just numbness? I'm just numb to the things going on around me. I just wow. I feel like I'm not uh, where I need to be in God so that I can't be used. Do we feel so, to the point to where I don't feel adequate enough to be used by God? I don't feel uh, worthy enough to be used by God. I don't feel like I am the vessel that God can use. Do we feel like we're being restrained and restricted and, and just stuck in a corner where we can't go and do anything for God? Do we feel isolated? Do we feel like we're just all, all by ourselves? An island by ourselves. Do we feel like that sometimes? Do we feel like we're the only ones? Do we feel like we can't make an impact in our world because I am not who I think I, could, I am or who I think I could be? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God is here and he's wanting to break the chains, the mindsets. He's wanting to peel back those mindsets and say, you know what? I want you to be my child. Right. I want you to be everything that I've called you to be. And for you to step out and be the vessel of God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Get rid of that stinking thinking. Get rid of those mindsets that says I'm not I'm not good enough. Oh, sir. Come on. Come on. Let's face it. Yes, we can all say that. I'm not good enough. Yes, sure. Sir. We can, we can all make those claims that says, oh, I'm not worthy and I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough to be a vessel of God. I'm not good enough to, to do anything for the for the presence of God or the, the, the things of God. I'm not, I'm not good enough for that. We can all say those things. Mm -hmm. But God's got a call. Yes, God's he does. got something for you to do. Amen. Let's get our hearts right. Let's get our minds on focused on God. Yeah. Right. And let's be about our Father's business in this hour. Thank you, Lord. Let's, let's, shake the, the, let's shake this world for the glory of God. Amen. Yes, praise God. Thank you, Lord. You know, we, we hear about Elijah, and these men are after him. These men are after him to take his life. It goes, and he hides in a cave. And all these things come, the wind, the earthquake, all these things come. But God is in the still small voice. Mm -hmm. He is, praise God. And he's speaking out to Elijah to go. To go. Go and be used. Go and anoint somebody to be king. They were they were after him. They were after him to take his life. He he didn't feel like he was adequate enough that point in his life that he had to go hide in a cave yeah. right. he didn't feel like he was good enough at that point these people were after me I forgot to say don't worry about them I got something for you to do Right. don't worry about the, the world coming around don't worry about the enemy don't worry about everything coming and crashing around you Come on. worry about what God's called you to do yes. yeah. and do it God will take care of the rest. Right. God will take care of everything else. Yes. Give it to the Lord. Yes. We try to worry and put everything on our shoulders and say, oh, I've got all oh, these things. And, I, and you get paranoid. And what if? And what if all this happens? And what if these people do this? And what if that happens? And we can't worry about all the what ifs. That's right. Amen. We can't Amen. worry about, oh, what could happen to me in this situation? Uh -huh. What couldn't happen to That's me in this right. situation? Come on. If you're praying up, stayed up with God, God's going to order your steps. God's going to guide you. Yes, God's He is. Amen. Amen. And if Amen. you know the Lord, God's going to make sure that everything happens the way it should. Hallelujah. Yes, He will. Give all your anxiety, anything to God. Anything that you're worried about, anything that you're scared about or you're afraid about, give that to the Lord because right. God's got it. Amen. 
We try to put everything and we try to control everything in our own power and say, oh, I've got to do this, 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 and this. We, we just give it to God and allow God to Amen. lead us. Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank allow God you. to show us and lead us. Thank you, Jesus. Don't allow the world to, to, to tell you that you're an old body. Don't let, allow anybody else say that you can't do it and you can't make it. Right. Because with God, all things are possible. Yes. With God, it, 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 it becomes available. Amen. Amen. I got it because of God. Amen. I can make it because of God. Right. The world may say this, but God. Yes. Hallelujah. The, the enemy may say this, but God. Yes. Amen. Amen. God has it in his hands, and God knows what we have need of. Amen. Yes, he does. He does. Praise Thank God. You, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bow down to the things of this world. I'm not gonna bow down to the end. That's right. Come on. I'm not gonna say, oh, I can't make it. No, sir. Because I can. That's mm -hmm. right, amen. Through God I can make it, amen. 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 Through God it is made possible. Yes. Through the struggles of life, through everything that's coming against me. And it feels at times that this world is growing colder and colder. And and it feels like these things are just coming in and we hear stories on the news every day of things happening in our yeah. world. What are we doing about it? Are we just sitting by and allowing things to happen and oh I'm indifferent. I can't get involved and I, I can't do anything about it. I can't I can't talk to these people. I can't do these things. Yes you can. Yeah. You can make a difference in your world. That's right. You can encourage somebody that's dealing with some some anxiety and some stresses and some worries and some some all the things of life that comes our way. Right. We can yes, encourage sir. somebody. Amen. We can speak up right. for yes, God sir. and His righteousness to those around us. We yes. can be instruments for His glory. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Oh, wow. Well, we're... We can't allow ourselves to be tethered to indifference. We can't allow ourselves to be tied down and say, I'm not, I'm not doing anything for God. So I'm That's a nobody. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. We feel like, oh, I'm a nobody. I'm tied to this, this, this indifferent mentality that I can't be a nobody. I can I can't do anything. Mm. Yes, we can. We can do something for the glory of God. Amen. Amen. This world is falling apart at times, and we know that we the answer. Yes. The answer is Jesus. Amen. Yes, it is. The Amen. answer is Jesus and Him alone. Right. He deserves all the glory, the honor, the praise. Yes. Right. He deserves Amen. This, every, every chance that we get, we ought to praise the Lord. Because the world's going to tear us down. The world's going to shut, kind of shut us up. The world's going to try to silence us. So uh -huh. we've got to continue forward and be the vessels of God. Right. What are you doing about it? What are you doing about it? Are you being the, the vessel of God? Are you being the man of God? Are you being the woman of God? Are you being somebody that God can count on? Or are you just sitting by and saying, I'm a nobody? Right. I'm a nothing. Stand before God and say, God, you can choose me. Yes. Um, and make myself available. Uh -huh. yes. Amen. He's looking more for those that have made themselves available. Yes, sir. Great God. Instead of just, oh, I'm not able. Right. He's not, he's not focused on our ability as much as he is availability. Right. Oh, right. that's good now. He will equip you. He will... He will mold you. He will make you into whatever he needs you to be. Yes. Yeah. All we've got to do is step out. Amen. Right. Thank you, Lord. What if what if Peter never stepped out on the water? He would have never known. He would have never had that experience. That's true. Right. We can't discredit ourselves and say, oh, I'm not going to do anything. Right. We may step out and fall like Peter fail. We may step out and fall at times, but that's what we, God's, God's there to pick us up. Yes. God's there to correct us. God's there to, to guide us and say, you know what? You can do this. Right. Some of, us, some of us are so scared of failure that we're not willing to try. Amen. We're not willing to step out and say, you know what? I'm stepping out on faith. Oh. If I fall, oh, okay, God, you can pick me up. You can guide me. You can lead me. Yes. Amen. 
But I believe in this world we're so scared of failure that we, we withdraw ourselves from doing anything that God's called us to do. What if I fail? What, what, if, what if it doesn't happen the way that I thought it should happen? What, what if it falls apart? What, what, what if people start making fun of me? What if people start calling me names or, or whatever? I, I, I don't want to face that, so I withdraw myself. Help us, Lord. I, I don't want to face any kind of persecution or, or anything of that nature. I don't want people talking about me. Oh, that, that's the... That's that uh, Christian person. That's that. Uh, that's that holy roller. That's that Jesus freak. That's that. Come on. It's all right. Come on. Yes. Are we going to be what God's called us to be? Right. They already call yes. us that anyway. So what? What's? Yeah. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Right. What, what's okay. the point? Thank you, Lord. They already say it behind your back. So why not, I mean, if they say it in front of your face, I mean, you already know it. You already know that it's happening. Come on. Right. Come on. So why not be it? Amen. Yeah. Why not be the change? Why not yeah. be the influence? Why not convince those yeah. that what you're living is true? Because yeah. many of them are, are just seeing if you're the real deal or not. Sure. Yeah. That they're testing the waters. Okay, is he gonna is he gonna fall apart? Is he gonna really stand? Is he gonna really be this Christian that he called, claims to be? Come on now. Are we really truly who God's called us to be in this hour? Yeah. Are we gonna cower back and say I'm not gonna do anything for oh, God? I'm not gonna be used by God. I'm not gonna impact my world. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna share this word with somebody. Help us, Lord. We're so busy. We're so we're so ingrained with. Our daily life and we're trying to build up our life and at, at times it seems like we're trying to build up our kingdom uh, whose kingdom are we building yeah are we building our own or are we building the kingdom of God That's right we have to we have to ask us, ourselves these questions are we truly being the vessel or are we just sitting on the sidelines waiting for someone else to do oh it oh are we going to be in the same situation five years from now Saying the same thing. Wow. Hearing the same message over and over and over. And let's not step out. Right. How many times do we have to hear the same words over and over, echoing in our minds? And yes, we sometimes <laughs> seem to, to forget some things. And we sometimes hear things and they go one ear out the other. And, and by the time the message is over, we don't really remember what all was said. Yes, there's times we need reminders. We need those times. But how many times do we need to hear it before we actually do it? Before we actually do step out? And be the vessel. It's like we're hearing the echoes and God's got to continue to repeat himself and say, you know what, I'm calling, I'm calling, I'm calling. When are you going to answer? When are you going to step out? Right. When are you actually going to do something? Right. Keep heard messages over and over and over. And we have other ministers come in and they say the same things pastors been saying. And we hear these words over and over and over. How many more services? How many more messages? How many more are, are we going to have to endure? Yeah. Pastors even said before that he had to preach the same message an entire year. How many more are we going to have to actually listen to before we actually do something? Ooh, come on now. Well, well. God is asking us and pleading with us. We are in the last days. We are in the last hour. He's coming soon. He's yes. coming for a bride that's ready and on fire yes. and doing oh, yeah. what it is that he's called us to do. Amen. Are we going to sit back and say, you know what, not me, God? No way. No way, no way. Is he going to have to put us through more trials, more things for us to wake up and say, you know what, I, you know, I should have done that. I should have, could have, would have. But, 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 but we make excuses. Oh, I had this, I had that. And we've all been there. We've all had excuses. We've all had situations. Yeah. 
but are we going to stand up and actually do something? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. We've already seen people come. We've already seen flashes of revival. And then we we don't need to get in this mindset of, okay, we got this many people. Now we can cruise. Now we can, right. now we can just cruise. Right. Right. Amen. God is doing Amen. great Amen. things. God is, God is doing great things in our services. We have these visitors come. Yes, That's sir. awesome. That's great. Now we can kind of go on no cruise. Uh, now we can just, no, we can. just idle by and say, oh, yeah, we're doing great things. We're having great service. We got these many visitors. We're, we're, we're just going to coast. No. No, we, we, sh we, should be, we should be more concerned. Okay, why didn't we reach more? That's right. Amen. We've always had that, 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 that concern. Why not more, Lord? Yeah. Why not yeah. greater? Don't get dissatisfied with just, just a little bit. Come on. With just some. But I want greater things. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm hungry for greater things. Amen. Greater things shall be done in this hour. Yeah. Greater Lord. things shall be done in my life, my home life, everything. I want something greater. I want, I want, I want come to really experience the miracles, yes. times, the wonders. I want to experience these things in God. Amen. We've got to have that desire that I want more of God. Despite what I'm going through, despite the feelings, despite everything else, I've got to have more of God. Right. Yes, and we the more we God. Amen. Amen. We hear these things. Amen. We say them, but do we mean them? Yeah. Less of me, more of you, Jesus. Yes, we may like the idea of it, but are we really consumed by it? Ooh, come on now. Has it really hit home yet? Oh, it's a concern. I may feel a little concerned with it. I may, I may feel, you know, bad that I'm not doing enough for God. And then we go about our day, and it just kind of brushes over, and we don't really become. Mom. You know, God gives us the power to become. What are we doing with the, the power that he's given us? Mm -hmm. Are we truly yeah. using that to become? Come on. Are we just holding that back? Are we holding back the, 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 the anointing, the power that he's wow. given us to use? Right. Are we, we're putting it up on a shelf. We're putting it on, on, the, on the back burner. We're, we're putting it on the side saying, you know what, I'll pick that up when I go to church. I'll pick that up when, when, oh, when, when I think it's convenient or or when I need, I want other people to know that I'm a Christian. I'm going to pick that back up. Hmm. But at any other time, I'm just going to put it on the way, the wayside. Oh, I'm going to live my life. But then I'll pick it right back up and say, okay, God, forgive me, Lord. I, I, I need you, Jesus. Come with me, Lord. What are we going to get so invested, so enthralled, so consecrated into the things of God that it becomes a part of us. That it becomes our norm. Yeah. I've never had that mentality of never satisfied with just mediocrity. To have the mentality of I'm not satisfied with just the, the the run of the mill kind of thing, just right. just a just a basis. I, I'm not I'm not just fi satisfied with just going through the motions or going to church and week after week, nothing really truly happening. I, I, I want more. Yes, yeah. sir. Amen. Yeah. Where's the hunger? Where's yes. the desire? Where's the yeah. purpose? Where's the stance of I'm going to go forth and to do everything That's that right. you want me to be? Amen. 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 Where is the, the the hunger for 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 groaning and, and praying and seeking His face? Mm -hmm. Where is the desire for for more prayer? What? More desire. Where is that? I'm not going to get involved. I'm not. I'm not going to be what God's called me to be. So I might as well not pray. Ooh. I might as well not seek His face. 
I'm a nobody anyway, so I might as well not even, uh, I'm just going to go to church and just so I can feel better. No, that's not what it's about. No, sir. Come on. It's about selling yourself out to the God, being sold out. Yes. Nothing else matters Amen. but getting in contact with him and yes, doing sir. the will of God. Yes, sir. Nothing else matters. Amen. Why is it that we try to hold on to our own selfish desires that we're not willing to give it up to God and say, you know what, I, I, I don't need this anymore. It's, it's not, it's, it's nothing. Sure. It's not important. It's not, it's not, it's not going to hold weight. This world's going to pass us by. That's right. Nothing in this world can satisfy like the, like God can. Nothing right. else can, get, has, can hold weight like Jesus can. Right. I'm going to be the vessel of God. Amen. Amen. When God calls me to go, I'm going to go. Right. Where God calls me to go, I'm going to go. Amen. I may not like it. I may not feel comfortable. But in that moment, God can, yes. can, can, can create an avenue that someone's life can be changed. Yes, he can. Thank you, Lord. That rude person that you didn't want to go to, God can change their heart. Yeah, Amen. Amen. That person that's done you, done you wrong, God can use you to touch their life. Right. God can use you in many ways that you never thought possible. Right. And we think, oh, they'll never change. Don't put that, don't, don't put that upon yourself. Do what God's called you to do, and I'll put that in God's hands. Amen. Because you don't know. God has changed the heart, the hardest hearts. God has changed the ugliest hearts. It's about giving yourself to Jesus and allowing Him to be the vessel. Amen. I mean, be, allowing yourself to be the vessel that He can use. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise be to God. How many want to see? Our city changed. How many yes, want to amen. see lives changed? Amen. How many want to see revival? Yes, hallelujah. We pray for revival. We pray for lives to be changed. We pray for more souls. But have we allowed ourselves to let revival break out in us? Oh, Individually. Have we truly allowed that to happen? Right. Before I expect others to be what they call God's called them to be, help me to be what you need me to be, Lord. Yeah. Let revival break out in me. Right. right. Yes. Let the joy of the Lord break out in me. Yes. Let faith yeah. arise in me. Yes. Yeah. To see a world changed. Yeah. To see lives, to see these altars filled, to, to see lives that were broken now put back together by God, and to Come see on. the joy of the Lord on our yes. faces, yes. to see people baptized in the work of the Lord Jesus and come out renewed and refreshed and living an yes. overcoming life. Right. To get that energy yeah. in your head, to keep that motivation in your head. Sometimes we get our Mindset, okay, this is all it's going to be, and we get stuck in this rut of, okay, it doesn't seem like anything's it's useless. We're not getting anywhere. We're not doing right. anything. And we get this wrong mentality of this vision in our head that's never going to change. Wow, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. We have, we've got to have that mentality of, of lives being changed, lives being yeah. transformed. Seeing that person living for God. Yeah, come on. Seeing that person that was rude and, and mean and hurtful up at the altar, raising their hands, glorifying God. Having that in your mindset. That's what God wants. Yes. God wants you to impact that life. God wants you to impact the world. God yes. wants to use you to, yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. to see soul saved. Yeah. What am I doing? Who am I? You're, you're a vessel of God. 
That's who yes. you are. You're of a royal priesthood. Yes. You're a peculiar people. Yes. God's yes. called you. Thank you for such an hour as this, for yes. such a moment as this. Amen. To reach your world, to be an impact into the vessels that are out there. Yes. They're lost, they're dying, they're hopeless. We have the answer. Jesus is the hope. Yes, he is. That's what they're looking for. Right. They're looking for that hope. They're looking for that joy. They're looking for that. And they don't know how else to find it. Yeah. But in different vices of the world. Yeah. Talking about going to parties and getting drunk and, and everything else imaginable. That's their vice. That's their out. That's their way of, of de-stressing in a way. But not knowing that that actually is actually bringing more bondage upon them. Right. Yes, sir. They're chasing a rabbit that's never going to be fulfilled. They're chasing down a trail that's never <coughs> going to fulfill them. Amen. And we have the answer. Yes. And we're watching them go down these trails and we're watching them destroy their life. And we're not speaking up and we're not inviting and we're not doing it what it is that we're called God's called us to be and we're sitting back watching it happen and God's saying I need you to talk to them I need you to to implant something in them I need you to encourage them I need right. you to lift them I need you to be that 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 sense of hope that handshake help us God glory Praise the Lord. The Lord just gave me this. As I went back home, well, my old home, this is my home, but uh, back in Louisiana to visit, I uh, visited my old church, went to service there, and uh, found out I uh, had an old friend, basically in uh, elementary that I met up with, and uh, he was there in service, but he uh, he wasn't always in church, and to see his life changed, mm -hmm. he was on, he was on alcohol, he was on drugs, whatever whatever he was going through, mm -hmm. and to see his life changed. And it's just that that mindset of, Lord, lead me to another one of them. Right. Yeah. Amen. Right. Lead me to another one that's been destroyed by the world. Yeah. yeah. And to see them come up in victory. To see their life change and transform yeah. from a life of sin, from a life of being destroyed by the things yeah. of this world. From, from a life that was going to go commit suicide. Yeah. But that another brother in the church came at just the right moment. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. And invited them to church. Thank you, Jesus. God can use you just in that moment. Yes, that someone's yes. about to give up. The, somebody's about to throw in the towel. Somebody's about to, to give, take their life. Come on. Don't be so disconnected from God. That's right. Don't be so indifferent saying I'm not going to get involved Jesus. that you see a life go into eternity lost. And to see the life now, he's living for God. Oh, yeah. Thank you, God. Could you imagine if the brother, which is my, my best friend, could you imagine if he didn't obey God and go to him? Come on. Come on now. And invite him to church? Yes. Could you imagine the robe? Wow. God, you're so good to us. Thank you. I pray to God that we're we're sensitive enough. I pray to God yes. that we're, we're where we need to be in God, that we can yes. be at the right place at the right time. Yes. And God can use us. And, and we don't withdraw ourselves and not get involved. And 
But God, help us to be the one that's involved. Help us to be the yes. one. Help us to go to that yes. brother that's just right. to Amen. Yes. Him and lift him and invite yes. them to church and tell them that there's a better way. Yeah, amen. amen. Yeah. But the road they're headed down is, is not where they need to be. Right. Help us, Lord, to be that the, the answer. Amen. Amen. Lord. amen. Thank amen. You, Lord. Praise amen. God. Praise God. Praise God. God's doing amazing things. Yes, God he can is. use us for yes. his glory. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. When we go to the house and we begin to worship and praise, hallelujah, visitors that come, they can begin to feel the joy. They can yeah. begin to feel the, the, the victory of God. Yes, amen. Let us not lose that. Let us not just sit idly by and say, you know what, I'm just going to patty cake. No, God wants to use you uh, and to be that instrument and say, I'm going to be used by God. I'm going to go out. Yeah. I'm going to be the best Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm not going to bow down. I'm not going to, I'm not going to back up. I'm going to be the best sword. Amen. I'm not going to be like Job. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you all just stand. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I want to be used by God. I want to be sensitive by, to, to God. I want to be the vessel that he uses in this hour. To reach Lord. everyone that I, I'm, I'm able to reach, Lord. Thank you, God. I am important. Yeah. I am a vessel that you can use, Lord. Yes. I am a somebody in you, Lord. With you, all things are possible. Yes. With you, Hallelujah. Jesus, I can Amen. do it. With you, I choose. To not be tethered to indifference. I choose to not be tied down and say that I'm a nobody. Hallelujah. That's you. Allow God to cut that cord. Allow God to cut the cord to indifference. Allow God to cut the things away that is holding you back. That you feel is holding you back from being used and being an instrument in this world. Allow God to cut the cord. I don't care if I'm uncomfortable, I'm going to do it. I don't want to see them go and die lost. I don't want to see those souls be lost and going into an eternity that's not to be for them. I'm going to be a vessel, I'm going to be a voice. I'm going to be that encouragement that somebody needs. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. These altars are open if you want to come. And you want to give your heart out to Jesus. And you want to seek his face. Take that little moment to, to praise him. Take that moment to, to give your heart to him this morning.
a blessing that there is not enough room to receive it. We receive jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, sales and commissions, benefits and salaries, estates and inheritance, interest and income, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, bills paid off, debts demolished, and royalties received. My whole family saved and walking with God. Perfect health and abundance to walk in divine favor and blessings. I am blessed going in. I am blessed going out. All that I do will prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. It is so. Praise the Lord. Please come and give it to us. Shall we so tend right in the world? Oh! 